Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to take a single PDF and split it into multiple PDFs using Python. Before we get started, let's review the packages we'll use, which include PyPDF2 and OS. PyPDF2 is a free and open source pure Python PDF library, capable of splitting, merging, cropping, and transforming the pages of PDF files. It can also add custom data, viewing options, and passwords to PDF files. PyPDF2 can retrieve text and metadata from PDFs as well. What we'll do first is we're going to install PyPDF2. Since I'm in a Jupyter Notebook, I am going to put an exclamation point at the beginning so we can run this and pip install PyPDF2. You can also run this within the command line to install PyPDF2. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import two classes from PyPDF2 and then import the OS module. Let's take a look at the directory or folder that contains our notebook and our PDF. Let's open the PDF. We can see here that we have math worksheets and they're all saved in a single file. What I want to do is I want to take these six worksheets and split them up into six single PDF files. Let's go back to our notebook. First, I want to retrieve the file name of the PDF. I'm going to create a variable called PDF list. I'm going to use list comprehension to get the file name into our list. I'm going to say file for file in os.lister. Let's take a look at the lister function down here. And we can see that we have the files listed in our directory. We have the math sheets. I want to specifically get this PDF, so I need to add a condition here that we are going to retrieve the name if it contains the .pdf extension. And we can see that we were able to save the string within our list. Next, what I want to do is I want to separate this into another variable, I'll call it file name. We're going to take the PDF list. I am going to use indexing to retrieve the PDF sheet here. And since we only have the one element, we just put in within brackets zero. Let's print this out. And we can see that we have our variable for a string that contains our file name. Next, what I want to do is I want to use the PDF reader class. I'm going to call reader, set that equal to, and then we're going to call PDF reader, which we imported for our file name. Then we can call on reader we can see that we have the pypdf2 reader object here, and we are going to call on it to access the PDF within Python. What I'm going to do next is I am going to create a variable called pages. We'll take the reader and put it into a tuple. I am going to start it at zero, and then I am going to call the length of the reader dot pages and this is a built-in function what this is going to do is it is going to retrieve the number of pages within our pdf that we fed into the pdf reader here next i am going to take this and create a for loop i'm going to say for page num and page i'm going to say in and i'm going to call on enumerate i am going to put reader.pages as the first parameter then as the second parameter, I want to input one. And what this will do is it will start the enum at one and go up to six for the page numbers. We'll create a variable here. We'll call it writer, and we're going to set that equal to PDF writer. Then we're going to take the writer and we're going to add a page to it. And we're going to add the first page. Next, we're going to create a file, and this is what we're going to use to actually write the new PDF to, and we'll call this single page. Here we're using open. This is going to create our file. Then we're going to use an F string. We're going to name the file. So we'll call it math sheet. Then within the F string, we're going to put in the page number. So we're going to have math sheet one, two, three, up to six. And then for the second parameter, I'm going to write this as binary. So we have the WB here for the second parameter. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this. So I'm going to call writer.write. And we're writing the single page. Then what I need to do is I need to close both the single page and the writer. And since we're writing to different files, we need to open the writer and single page and close them multiple times. Let's run this. And let's go back into our directory. 
we can now see that we have the PDFs and I can open these up and we can see that they're all one page length. So we were able to successfully split these into separate PDF files. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included additional resources in case you want to learn more about PyPDF2. I also included a video I created on merging PDFs with Python and PyPDF2. If you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.